المدثر دی فرسٹ سیون آیات دے آر دی فورتھ وہی اباؤٹ ٹوینٹی ایئرس اور ٹوینٹی فائیو ایئرس بیک آئی ٹوک پینس ٹو ڈسکور یو نو دس سیکوینس وٹ آر دی ڈفرینٹ اوپینینس آف دیز ارلی ریولیشن وٹ از دی سیکوینس تو موسٹلی دس از دس از ایگریڈ اپون وٹ آئی ایم ٹیلنگ یو دی فرسٹ از فائیو آیات آف سلط الحق دی سیکنڈ از دین نائن آیات آف اور سیون آیات آف سورت النون اور سورت القلم دین تھرڈ ٹین آیات آف سورت مزمل and then seven ayat of surah muddassir and then surah al-fatiha seven ayat of surah al-fatiha that's the fifth way and that's the first full surah revealed to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam otherwise before that these are the ayat included in longer surahs so out of these seven these first three are most important most important regarding the seerah of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم یا ایوہ المدسر او دی ون ہو اس لائنگ ریبڈ اپ ان اس گارمنٹ ہم گرڈ اپ یور لائنز نا سیڈ اپ فا انزر ان سٹارٹ وارننگ دس انزار اس دی سٹارٹنگ پوائنٹ آف دی پروفیٹک مشن People, oh mankind, remember, you have another life, and that is the real life. You will be resurrected. And this life is only a testing period. The results will be given to you in that eternal life of the hereafter. This is the point from which the call of the Prophet starts. Om Fan Zev. Then after some days, وَأَنزِرْ عَشِرَتَكَ الْأَقْرَبِينَ Warn your close relatives. But this is starting point. Now if people respond to it, some people say, okay, we believe in it. We believe in you. We believe in the resurrection. We believe that that is the real life. We believe in our Lord that is alone. Then something next would be said. And what is that? And that is the goal of this struggle. وَرَبَّكَ فَكَبِّرْ And magnify your Lord. What does it mean? This is the goal. You have to establish the supremacy of divine rule of this earth. The starting point and the goal. Both must be clear. Between these two points, a straight path, straight line. But you have, you have the starting point and the goal, final goal, where you have to go. Not only preaching and preaching and preaching and saying sermons and saying sermons and saying sermons. No, no. Going on purifying, purifying, purifying. Generations after generations, purification going on. No, no. It has to be oriented towards the revolution. It has to be oriented. To change the system of falsehood, system of ta'ud, system of batil, uproot it and establish the system of haq, the divine rule on earth, the kingdom of heaven on earth. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heavens. This is the goal. In between we have the seerah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that is the methodology. If you want to see how starting from Inzar and reaching that point where Ya al haqqo wa al batil Batil has disappeared. And the rule of Allah, the whole of the Arabian Peninsula is established. What is the methodology for that? For that you have to turn to the seerah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. لَقَدْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنًا And you have to follow it. So, Ya Ayyuhal Muddassir, Oh you who are lying wrapped up in your clothes, Um Fanzir, stand up and start warning people. Narabba ka fakabbir and proceed towards the goal of magnification of your Lord. 
so that he becomes supreme. Yakuna deen of Kullahu lillah. The whole deen comes under him. The whole system of life comes under him. And you should also purify your clothings, garments. And shun all uncleanliness. And don't show favor to get a bigger reward. But Marana Islahi has translated it. Don't give up your struggle. You will have great results. Maybe in the beginning you feel frustrated. Nobody is listening to me. Nobody is accepting my dawa, my, my call. Maybe in the beginning. But don't get frustrated. Don't give up the struggle. Twice he called Bani Hashim. And to a feast, all the people gathered. They took the meals. But when he stood to say something, they laughed, hooted, went away. They even now allowed, didn't allow them to, him to say something. And utter failure. But don't be disheartened. After a few days again, now the people thought we have taken twice meals here. So now we should at least listen to what he says. But what he said, the result was the whole, you know, congregation, silent, absolutely silent. Not a single voice proclaiming acceptance, except of Ali, a boy of about 13 years. He had already accepted Iman. He stands up and said, although I am the youngest here, although my legs are very weak, although my eyes are also sore, but I will help you. And the whole congregation burst into laughter. This person is going to change the system and this is his helper. He had to take it. Failure after failure. When the command came, first time Umar, he mounted the hill, hillock of Safa called the people. But when he said his message, presented, his uncle says from the audience, Jammal laka alihaza jamaatana. Go to you. You had gathered us for this purpose. Not a single person accepted. But O oh, Muhammad, don't give up. Wala tamnun tastaksiri. Time will come that you will get the results and rewards. And have patience, show perseverance, stand fast. For when the trumpet would be sounded, that day it will be a very hard day. We have read in Surah Al-Muzammi. And for the disbelievers, it won't be easy. Now leave me alone, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, to deal with the person whom I have created lonely. Two meanings. I have alone created him. Did nobody accept, joined hands with me to create him. And the other is that he was alone. He was the only son of his parents. This is actually Walid ibn Mughira. He was the big chief of Quraysh. Father of Khalid ibn Walid. Khalid ibn Walid. And he is Walid. Walid ibn Mughira. And he had great property in Makkah as well as Taif. He owned many gardens in Taif. Very rich person. And this person came very close to Ijman. He had understood fully that this kalam, this word that Muhammad is conveying us, is not his own, it is divine. But when he looked back, oh, my people, my nation, my tribe, then I'll be cut off from them. Then he held back. So on that, you know, the wrath of Allah will appear here. Zarni wa man khalaqtu wahida. Leave me 
and that, that person whom I have created as this, the only son of his parents. وَجَعَلْتُ لَهُ مَعْلَمْ مَمْدُودًا And I have given him much riches and much wealth spread out. It is in Makkah, it is in Taif. وَبَنِينَ الشَّهُودًا And I have given him sons who are before him present. Now this word, you know, you can very well appreciate. Many appearance in Pakistan, they long to see their sons who have been exported to America. Many die, can't see their sons. But a person whose sons are with him before his eyes, he is a very lucky person. He doesn't have to export his son anywhere to earn some dinars from Kuwait or from or from Abu Dhabi or Dubai or from America, dollars. No. Only a rich person could afford that his sons, they are present before him. Banina Shuhuda, not absent from his sight. And I smooth for him everything completely, agreeable, comfortable. Summa Yatma wa Nazira. Then he wishes that I should give him more. Kalla. No. That's the end of it. Innahu kana li ayatina anida. In the long run he has proved to be opponent to our revelations. Saurihikuhu sa'uda. Soon I shall afflict him through a hard ascent. Innahu fakkara wa qaddara. Shortly he reflected and estimated what will happen if I accept. My people will leave me. This position that I hold, that be gone. There may be a boycott. In the Ufakkara wa Qaddara, he thought and estimated. Fakkote la kai Fakkaddara. He be killed. How he estimated. Summa kote la kai Fakkaddara. Again, let him perish. How he determined and estimated. Summa Nazara, then he looked. Summa Abasa wa Basara, then he frowned and scowled to show people as if he is in deep contemplation. Summa Adbara wa Stakbara, then he turned back and showed arrogance. Fakal, and then he said, In Haza illa sehun you, sir. This Quran is nothing. What Muhammad is presenting as revelation from Allah is nothing. But sorcery, which is coming from ancient times, you, sir, from the older generation that is coming. In Haza illa qalul bashar. It is nothing but the saying of a man, not divine. There he retreated. Kismat ki khubi dekhiye tuti kaha kamand, do char haad jab ke rabi baab reh gaya. Otherwise, his people asked him, do you think Muhammad is a magician? He said, no, I know many magicians. He is not a magician. He is not like them. Do you think he is a kahin, a fortune teller, soothsayer? No, no, no. I know many soothsayers and fortunes. What is he is presenting is not like the sayings of soothsayers and kahins. Is he a poet? No, no, no. I can very well assess the poetry. It's not poetry, something else. Then people, you know, the thought is gone. But then he has the second thought. He came back. فَقَالَ إِنْ هَذَا إِلَّا سَحِرٌ يُوسَرْ إِنْ هَذَا إِلَّا قَوْلُ الْبَشَرْ سَأُسْلِيهِ سَقَرْ I shall make him enter, cast him into the scorching fire. وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا سَقَرْ And what will make you realize, what is this scorching fire? لَا تُبْقِي وَلَا نَذَرْ وَلَا تَذَرْ Neither let it perish, nor leave it alone. ثُمَّ لَا يَمُوتُ فِيهَا وَلَا يَحْيَا Then man will not, neither be alive there, nor dead. لَوَّاهَةٌ لِلْبَشَرْ It will scorch the skin. 
علیہ تسات آشر آن دیٹ وی ہیو نائنٹین اینجلس دے آر دی گارڈز اور دی کیپرس آف دیٹ ہیل ناؤ اباٹ دس نائنٹین فگر وما جعلنا اصحاب النار اللہ ملائکہ And we have not posted as wardens of the hell, but angels. They are not human beings. Because when this ayah was narrated and recited to the Quraysh, some one of them, perhaps Madhul ibn Haris, he said, Okay, brother, it's very easy. There are only 19 over there. Muhammad says, For 10, I'm sufficient. For the rest of 9, you arrange. I can take on them. They are not men, men. they are angels. وَمَا جَعَلْنَا عِدَّتَهُمْ And we have not disclosed their number إِلَّا فِتْنَةً لِلَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا But as a test and trial for these people who don't believe. لِيَسْتَقِنَ الَّذِينَ أُوتُ الْكِتَابِ So that those people who were given the book before, they should be convinced. It appears that in Torah somewhere this figure of 19 must have appeared. That is why Allah says, لَا يَسْتَاقِنَ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابِ وَيَسْتَاقَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا إِمَانَا And it will increase those who believe in their belief and faith. Because whosoever believes, he says, everything is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَاللُّمِ نِنْ دِي رَبِّنَا آمَنَّا بِهِ وَلَا يَرْتَابَ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ وَالْمُؤْمِنُونَ And so that the people who were given the book and the believers should not have any doubt. وَلَا يَقُولَ الَّذِينَ فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ مَرَضُونَ And so that those, those people in whose hearts there is a disease of nifaq or kufr, wal kafirun, and the disbelievers, they should say, Maza arad Allahu bihaza masala. What has Allah intended by this similitude of 19? Kazalika yudullu Allahu man yasha. In this very way, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala leads astray whomsoever he likes. Wa yahdi man yasha. And leads to the right path, rise to the right path, whomsoever he wishes. Wama hiya illa zikra lil bashar. And this is nothing but a reminding, an admonition for the human beings. This ayah, I think, is not in, to, in line with the, the, the 31 ayat, the 30 ayat that we have read. Small ayat, small ayat, and this lengthy ayat. I think like the, Second section of Sultul Muzammil, this was also revealed in Medina, added here. But then again, the same rhythm, small ayat, a very fast rhythm, again that starts. Kalla wal qamar. Nay. And by the moon, wal layli is adbar. And by the night, when it turns its back, was subha is asfar. And by the dawn, when it brightens, in the Hana al Kubar, verily this is one of the greatest things. Nazir al Lil Bashar, a warner for the whole of mankind. These ayat, maybe if you consult other tafasir, you'll find different views. But I am confident that these denote the advent of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Kalla wal Qamar. Before his advent, the divine guidance in this world had become very less bright. There was in Jeel, there was Torah. But as you know, the light of moon, moon is not very shining, not like the sun. It's not, it cannot brighten the night as the day is brightened by the sun. So that was the condition before his coming. وَاللَّيْلِ is أَدْبَرْ And the night, it was the night. Six hundred years they went to make one night. Why? For six hundred years, for the first time in the history of this, this globe, this planet, for the first time in the history of this planet, there was no prophet, no messenger of Allah on the earth. After Jesus, before Muhammad Wasallam. 600 long years. Before that, there was no single moment when a prophet or a messenger was not present. That was the Fatratul Wahi, Al Fatratul Ula, for 600 years. And then came Muhammad. So this was a night. 
regarding this institution of prophethood and messengerhood, it was like a night. No messenger, no prophet. But then was Subh is a asfar. Then the son of the Prophet of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it arose and it brightened. Just as the sun brightens the, the earth. Inna la kubar. And this is one of the biggest things. The advent of Muhammad is not something small, something simple. The final messenger, the final prophet, on whom the deen is going to be perfected, who will make the deen of Allah supreme, actually. Because at this time we are just in the beginning of the wahi. This is the fourth wahi which we are reading. So it was going to be a prophecy. At that time Allah is saying, don't take it lightly. The advent of Muhammad in Nahal Ayyad al kubar it is one of the greatest things. One of the greatest events of this universe. Nazir al-Lil-Bashar. Now he has come as a warner. The same word. Hum fa'anzir. For the whole mankind. Liman shah min kumayyata qaddam awayyata akhar. For whoever, whoever wants, desires among you to go ahead or be left behind. Come forward, accept Muhammad or keep behind. Then you will be deprived. Kullu nafsi mima kashabat rahina. Every soul shall be in pledge for what it has earned. Hostage against our deeds. You are a hostage against what you have earned in the in the world. Illa ashab al yameen, except those to whom their record will be given in their right hands. Fi jannat. They will be in the gardens. Yatasalun anil mujrameen. And they'll be asking about the guilty. Those who are, will be in the hell. Masalaka kumfi sakhar. What was the cause? What did lead you to this scorching fire? Why have you been, you have been thrown in this fire? And they will say, Kalu lam nakum in al musalleen. We were not from, from among those who prayed. And we didn't feed the needy. We never gave any arms. And we kept busy in vain talk with the vain talkers. We never took it seriously. What Muhammad was saying, we never took it seriously. And we kept repudiating and belie the day of judgment. We said, no, no, no resurrection. Impossible, impossible. How can we be resurrected? When we shall all die and we shall be reduced to bones and, and you know, sand and earth and nothing else. Dust, dust by what? To dust return dust. How can we, we be resurrected? Kunna nukazzibu bi yawmiddin hatta atadun yaqeen. Till that time that that sure thing came to us, that is death. فَمَا تَنْفَعُهُمْ شَفَاتُ الشَّافِعِينَ So now, no intercession of the intercessors is going to avail them anything. فَمَا لَهُمْ أَنِ تَسْكِرَةِ مُورَدِينَ But what has happened to them? Why are they turning away from the admonition? Muhammad is calling them. Why are they turning away? Kaanahum Hakurun Mustamsira. As if they are the startled donkeys. And to me come the scene, you know. The startled zebras when they run. If they see Farrat bin Kaswara, if they feel some lion is coming and then they run, you know. You must have seen that scene in the pictures regarding these woods of Congo and etc. They run like anything. So how, why are they running away from this reminding? As if they are the startled zebras or donkeys fleeing from a lion, Farrat bin Kaswara. Mal yuridu kullum rehim min huma yuta sohfam unashara. Nay. But uh, every one of them is, wants to have, to be given scrolls spread out. 
it was their saying why this quran has been sent to muhammad alone if allah wanted to send us a message he could have sent a book to each one of us could he do it that he could do it nobody can say that he could not do it he can do anything but he chose this way he said we should have been given scrolls open so that we could read it maybe one fine morning everybody found a scroll under his you know pillow and if it happened to all of the people well they were sure that something has come from from some unseen world but no allah subhanahu wa taala has sent his message to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and deputed him to convey the message kalla bal la yakhafun al akhirah not at all actually the reason is that they don't fear the day of judgment and the life of hereafter had they even an out of that fear they would have thought they would have pondered deeply they would have contemplated but because they don't believe no resurrection this is the life eat drink and be merry namutu wa nahya wa ma yuhlikuna illa dhahr we live our lives we die our lives and nothing makes us die except the time that's all no god that he keeps us alive and he will cause us to die no kalla innahu tazkira not at all this is only a reminding this is only an admonition i have explained it several times that the basic knowledge of allah and the basic love of allah is within our hearts it is present in the ruh ruh has come from allah holy ruh bin amr rabbi it's not from this material world our body it is from the material world it has come from the clay and it will go to clay again but ruh has come from allah inna lillah wa inna ilaihi rajiun our spirits are not going to be buried with us it will go return to allah subhanahu wa taala so quran has come only to activate your ruh this dormant consciousness within you quran activates it and that is tazkira yaad dehani kalla innahu tazkira khuman sha zakara who ever wishes he can avail of this admonition he can benefit from this reminding he can get reminded وَمَا يَسْكُرُونَ إِلَّا أَنْ يَشَاءَ اللَّهُ But they will not be able to get reminded. But if Allah wants, if Allah permits, for every action here in this world, there are two components. I decided to lift this cup. I could not do it without the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Somebody tries something bad for me. he cannot do anything bad for me unless there is permission from allah subhanahu wa taala you aim at me you know but the bullet will miss me if allah subhanahu wa taala doesn't want want me to die you might be a very you know expert your aim might be very good but no it won't touch me so for everything the decision to do something is ours but to be able to do it actually it requires the permission and help of allah subhanahu wa taala wa ma yaskuruna illa ya sha allah they can't benefit from it except if allah wants and wishes who ahl at taqwa wa ahl al maghfirah he is worthy of fear and worthy of forgiveness 